Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the new titles that have just been released. Also, we know when the finale is going to be airing according to these dates, so we need to break this all down and freak out about all of this. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So, as you guys all know, The Flash is currently on a break. It's not coming back next week, but the week after, so we're already like halfway through it. But during this break, and just yesterday, they released the official titles for the next couple of episodes. So those episodes are episode 10, 11, 12, and 13. We know that episode 8, which is the next episode we're getting after the break, is The People vs. Killer Frost that is happening on May 4th. So currently right now it's the 22nd of April. So not very long until we get that episode, and that's going to be a Frost-heavy episode. And then episode 9, we already know the title, that is Timeless. That is coming May 11th, so the week after, and we do believe this is going to be a Wells episode because they've been referring to the original version of Wells as Timeless Wells. So that's what everyone is predicting, that he's probably going to come back, Tom's going to finally be back on the show. Obviously, it's been like a whole bunch of episodes since he's last been on. So that's super exciting, but we found that out a while ago. Okay, so this is really interesting. Let's go through this. Episode 10 and episode 11 are a two-part episode, so that is brand new. We had no idea about that. I mean, every season we do tend to have a two-part episode. That is a common thing. And it just so happens this year it's episode 10 and 11. And so the titles for the two-part episode are as follows. Family Matters Part 1 and Family Matters Part 2. That is coming May 18th, episode 10. And episode 11 is coming May 25th. So, what could Family Matters be about? Well, I think it's definitely to do with the Flash family. It's to do with Iris and Barry, probably most heavily. However... Normally with these two-part episodes, they do bring in a bigger story, a story that is very important, but maybe doesn't completely link to the plot of the main season. So I'm wondering what this is. I don't know specifically, but from the titles, you can tell that this is going to be like a big arc for these two episodes to do with family. And so I guess it's just shining on the importance of the Flash family as a whole, but also Barry and Iris's individual family, because that is going to be a thing later in the season, so episode 17, in fact, Bart Allen's going to be showing up, and also Nora West Allen is going to be returning, so you're going to have both kids of Barry and Iris showing up, so obviously, family is very important, and it's going to play a bigger role as we go into the end of the season, so I wonder if this is setting up anything to do with Bart, maybe that is a possibility, because maybe they find out, oh, in the future, you know, Bart Allen exists, and then it just kind of leads towards what happens in episode 17 with him actually showing up for the first time. Obviously, that's just theory right now, and I'm not saying that Bart's going to show up in these episodes because he's definitely not. He's currently in Vancouver right now, that being Jordan Fisher, who was cast to play Bart, and he's going to be shooting episode 17 in the next couple of weeks after he's done with his quarantine. Same with Jessica Parker Kennedy, who's coming back as Nora, aka XS. Obviously, we haven't seen her since season 5, so it's nice to have her back. Also, John Wesley Shipp is quarantining, and he's going to be playing Jay Garrick as usual. But those are some theories for episode 10 and 11. Super excited to have a two-part episode, as always. Let's move on to episode 12. So this is coming June 1st, so the week after the two-part episode. Episode 12 is titled Goodbye Vibration. So this is a reference to the Beach Boys, obviously. But in the scope of things with the TV show, what does vibrations mean? Well, you think of Cisco straight away, right? Because he's vibe, and that is his whole power. So I think this is a Cisco-heavy episode. And the fact that it says goodbye vibrations, is Cisco going to be leaving or something? Is he leaving the show? Is this what this is implying? I mean, if you guys remember a couple of seasons ago, you had the death of vibe as an episode. So that was obviously implying straight up that Cisco is going to die. I think this is implying that Cisco is going to leave or Vibe's going to leave. However, I don't think it's true. I think it is like a kind of bait and switch where they put out a title that suggests something and maybe they do touch on it in the episode, obviously. However, they don't actually go ahead with what they planned. Most of the time, obviously that's not always and there's obviously a chance that maybe Cisco could leave in this episode, but leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. Episode 13, this is the final title that was revealed. 
but also this is very interesting that goes along with this, okay? So episode 13 is titled Masquerade and episode 13 is coming June 15th. So if you guys remember, episode 12, Goodbye Vibrations, is coming out June 1st. So that is a two week gap. So that means that we're gonna be having another break. So I'm not sure for the reason for the break. I don't think they're gonna properly explain it. I think it's just an order of like organizing all their different shows, that being the CW, so they can have the season finale on this specific date, which we'll get to in a minute because we do have the official date for the Flash season seven finale. So yeah, it's confirmed we're gonna have a break between episode 12 and 13. However, it's not a significant break, it's like a one week break. They always do this every now and again. And I mean, we've been theorizing about all these different breaks coming and we knew they would come. However, it's not like a normal year where they would have a mid-season, they go away for like six or seven weeks or maybe even longer. But, you know, The Flash has had this break that we're on right now, and it will have this one week break between episode 12 and 13. And I guess there's no proper mid-season this year. And that is due to these special circumstances that we're in. And that goes the same for all of the different shows. So I'm presuming this is going to be the final break of the season, considering this is going to be between episode 12 and 13, and the season has 18 episodes overall. So what does episode 13's title mean? So it's titled Masquerade. So the idea of masquerade or masquerading is to dress up, right? So I've got a theory. Could this be something to do with the Godspeeds? Now, we're heading towards the end of the season by this point. This is episode 13, we have 18, so they have like five episodes left. And we need to be getting into that big bad stuff in the back half of the season, because technically this is the back half of the season if you cut the season in two. So, Masquerade definitely evokes the idea of someone going around and pretending to be someone else. So, I've got a few theories. Okay, so number one is to do with Godspeed. You have all those Godspeed clones, obviously they could have shot some stuff inside, but they haven't shown it to the rest of us, and maybe there's some sort of revelation to do with them. That's one idea. The other idea is we get the reveal of someone who said they were someone else, but they turn out to be this other person. So could Speed Force Nora be still around by this time? I think that is very likely. Could this be what we've been all theorizing about in regards to the Speed Force being someone or something different than what she says she is, right? Having ulterior motives. That could be another interpretation of what masquerading means. I think there's a lot of suggestions, but I definitely think the title Masquerade is to do with whatever's happening with the villain, and I feel like there is going to be some sort of reveal in this episode if someone is masquerading around in a costume or revealing themselves, essentially. So what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, final few things. If we go by this date for episode 13 and all the other episodes, episode 13 comes out June 15th, and then if we go Tuesday to Tuesday to Tuesday, and we add up till episode 18, the official finale date should be July 20th. And so that's obviously Tuesday at 87 Central, like normal. So it looks like The Flash is going to be airing its final episode of the season at the end of July. Obviously this is them sticking around for a long time and then literally they're going to finish in the next like month or so. That's obviously in terms of filming because I believe they're on like episode 15 currently. So they've shot all this stuff already. This is just stuff that is coming out later because the episodes are upcoming. But they're going to be filming and then they're going to stop and then they'll come back probably sometime around July and they're going to return to film and they're going to start season 8 and we're going to get season 8 literally like a few months after. So if we finish season 7 at the end of July, July 20th, we literally have, you know, a few days left in July, then we have August, September, and then The Flash comes back at the start of October. So that's literally two months break and then The Flash is back. And that's not even accounting in all the shows that are going to be running over the summer. Literally when The Flash finishes, like Superman Lois finishes, but then once Superman Lois finishes, Supergirl comes back to air its final 13 episodes and Supergirl is not going to finish its whole season until October and that's right where The Flash is going to start. Also Stargirl is going to be coming out and Legends of Tomorrow is going to be coming out. So you're going to have so many DC TV shows running all year long and literally we're going to have no break until The Flash Season 8 comes out, so that's obviously really, really exciting. I think this is the best year to be a DC TV fan, because it's going to be non-stop. And remember guys, if you are a DC TV fan, please be sure to subscribe, 
leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. Also stick around for my daily videos, you can check my recent video right here. And over the next couple of days I'm going to have a couple of theories coming out and we're going to be talking about the latest Flash news. Obviously the Flash isn't back on until May 4th, but we're still going to have plenty of Flash content coming out for you guys. So for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.